Anyhow, I'd say Lake is not, not ready yet. Another day, another AI tool. Google just released Firebase Studio, which is their full stack development platform using AI chat. I noticed it includes Astro support out of the box, and I wanted to give you my first impressions as we walk through this for the first time. You ready? Let's go. All right, so here we are looking at Firebase Studio. I'll walk through this live as we go, but I'll probably speed up some stuff just so you're not sitting around waiting on the chat as we go. So it looks like, like I mentioned, it has support for Astro right over here. So let's give this something, we'll call it like Firebase Studio uh, Astro. Well, I guess we'll just have Studio. That's fine, we'll just create a basic one. We'll use Tailwind and we'll let all this set up and I'll be right back with you. Hey, editing Chris here. Uh, real quick, I should have mentioned at this point in the video that Firebase Studio is in preview. So it's like very early on. So just keep that in mind as you watch the rest of the video. Okay, so we at least got up the basic project. This is just using the normal Astro command, but you can see we've got a web interface. Here's the actual file tree, so we can actually interact with the files. It's kind of cool. And, oh, I'm guessing this is where we prompt it. Okay, so let's close this down because I'm guessing we don't need this anymore. Um, there is, let's see, I saw over here web console. So I don't know what we'll need, but we'll figure it out. Okay, so let's come over here. Let's start with a really basic one. So let's just have it like create a, I don't know, um, Astro component that's a button. So create a button and use it on the homepage. Uh, use a button dot astro file. Let's see what it does. All right, so I wanna kind of test this in stages. So we'll start with something very basic here. It looks like it's asking you to click. Oh, look at this, it has an on-click handler. Okay, <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. Um, but uh, yeah, the on-click's not gonna work. So maybe it's like loosely trained on Astro. This might be a crash of a video, but that's okay. I kind of want to see what happens. So we've got a button. Looks like maybe they fixed that actually. We come over here to button. It has on click, which is not a thing. So let's say um, remove the on click and add support for types. Uh, next, what I want to do is take this and say, let's either use it as a button or as a, like a, an anchor link. So let's say update file. Okay, that works, on click. Um, we're gonna use, um, just another script. So I'll remove the on click. So we're basically moving this away from like this kind of React hybrid <laughs> with Astro to be more Astro with vanilla JavaScript. Uh, let's see, I've updated it to remove any Astro specific event handling. I can handle it wherever. Okay, I don't see that over here at all. I don't know. Well, let's get rid of this here. And we get rid of this and we'll get rid of this. All right, let's ask it now to um, allow for a slot and to pass in any other parameters using the rest parameter. So um, use a slot instead of a text prop and allow spreading in the rest param for other button parameters. So we'll see what this will do. It seems like it's clearly very loosely trained on Astro. Um, but who knows? Okay, so that's working. That's cool. Uh, now use the HTML attribute selector. I'm gonna have to get a little bit more sp specific knowing my uh, Astro um, like kind of knowledge, Astro uh, type to limit this to a button type. Even with a misspelling, let's see how it does. And this uses the built-in Gemini model, so maybe that with a, a more advanced one, it does better. Looks like that's working, that's cool. HTML button attributes, that is not how it works. Um, it's HTML attributes with a button type generic. Maybe that will help. At some point, I should just <laughs> do this one myself. I thought this would do better, but again, I wanted to kind of give my raw impression, and my raw impression is it's not quite ready yet. And I do know that like the Firebase blog uses Astro. There's a lot of people at Google who seem to like it, so I'm wondering if that was one of the reasons they started using it like right off the bat, or if it's just that they're trying to make this kind of the most full feature app it can be uh, for being an AI app, because I haven't seen other AI apps um, include Astro support kind of out of the box, but this lightly does. All right, so now we're gonna say, let's make this component also able to use um, the anchor link or the anchor tag. Ensure the uh, type is, let's see how do we like changed based on whether or not an href is passed. Uh, like I have to have enough TypeScript knowledge here. Obviously, we're kind of working with types, but these more advanced, not that this is very advanced, things are kind of what makes the, you know, 
uh, Astro Astro. And so um, I want to be able to build something else. Obviously, this is still not correct. Um, nope. <laughs> the HTML attributes. Attributes, I think that's what it is. Um, type should be able to handle either. Okay, we'll see what happens. All right, so I would say this is uh, like a D maybe, like it can kind of get it if I tell it everything it needs to do. Props extends, that's fine. Uh, I wonder why this is angry. Well, it's because it can't do either of those. So it's gotta be more like this. And then there's some more work we have to do as well. Is link, so this is not it. So here we should pass in an href and then say, if it includes, so if href is there, that's fine. Okay, so if these things are there, then it's a link, but here it's not handling any of that. Okay, so I'm gonna call this a fail. Uh, so let's get, rid of, let's get rid of this and kind of shift gears. So um, I want to create a content collection, one of the core kind of ideas in Astro. I'm wondering if it's gonna use, actually, let's check um, Astro config. Nope, is that what I'm looking for? Package.json. Uh, okay, so it is on the newest Astro. Interesting. Okay, so it should create a config dot, or collection.config.ts file. Um, I want to create a content collection with, I don't know, um, a coffee collection. Let's see what it does. So ideally, it should scaffold out. Okay, so that's in the wrong place. The content config, and it's using the old type equals content. So I'm going to call this thing not ready for Astro. If it can't get the basic content collection, it can't build out a basic component. I mean, it understands something about Astro because it's building stuff like this, but this is just not ready uh, in any meaningful way to build out Astro applications. But let's keep going. All right, so we've got this. Um, this should be at um, content.config.ts at the SRC directory. So I'm going to at least try to give it enough to get there. So sure, you can delete the file. And it looks like, did it create it? Oh, it's wanting to create it. Okay, so that is correct. Um, yeah, okay, so let's use the glob pattern and create new coffees in the, got a spell right, in the content folder. So we'll try this one last thing. And again, we're kind of having to guide it a lot and I have to understand where Astro's at and what I have available to me. So not ideal here, but you can see it's actually creating like latte. That's cool. Description, price. So, I mean, it, it knows enough, like, but this is obviously not correct <laughs> either. So let's see if it'll use the glob pattern or if I have to kind of go back and specify that again. So we'll get rid of that, get rid of that. Okay. So in the, let's see, can I attach certain things? No. What is this going to do? Uh, that's just attaching individual items, not files in here. So uh, I think that would be like a, an image or something like that. So we'll say like uh, in the content.config.ts file, uh, use the glob helper for the, uh, now do I have to actually tell it exactly where to find this as well? Let me just leave it at glob helper um, and we'll see if that can figure it out. So instead of content, it is going to say, <laughs> it's going to just add a, um, add a comment. Okay, well, <laughs> we could have done better, gone, uh, done better. The coffee collection now uses glob. No, it doesn't. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Try again. But I like that it kind of knows what to do here. Like it's saying it uses glob, but it's not. Okay, wait a second. Something is happening. That something is it now imported glob and didn't use it. Try again. We're going to get there. It's going to happen eventually. Glob. Okay. You know, you tried. It's totally fine. <laughs> let's, uh, let's, let's call this one a fail as well. So this is how you used to do it. You could have content files, but now that you can have custom loaders and all that kind of stuff, what we'd want here is a loader. See, oh yeah, I do get uh, typing. So it's weird to me that it's got like all the types in here and it can't figure out what to do, but uh, I don't understand enough about how they set these things up. So obviously the training isn't quite there and it doesn't seem like they're going to the live docs either. So whatever training they've been trained on, it's it's obviously a little old. 
Um, so we take the glob here and then pull in, uh, what do we have? Schema? Or, I mean, uh, pattern, I think. I think this is a uh, object. Let's try. Pattern? No? I'm pretty sure that's it. Let's see what this does. Um, glob being pulled in here. Astro content has no export data called glob. I don't remember. This comes from gl Astro loaders, I think. So import um, glob. Yeah, Astro loaders. That's correct. No wonder I couldn't figure out it's typing. Let me make sure this is the case. Um, so anyhow, it's obviously not working. Like you can have, uh, you'd set this up to like look in using a certain pattern and then give it a base folder to look into, which would be this content uh, coffee config. Uh, obviously this is not working. Um, so anyhow, I'd say like it's not, not ready yet, uh, hopefully soon, but uh, I at least wanted to walk through this. And uh, now we all know together, um, I, literally, I hadn't tried this yet, so I had no idea what this would do. Um, but a little disappointing that it's not better off. Now, the way these things progress, don't take this as gospel. I'm sure, honestly, in two or three weeks, it will be uh, massively trained better. That's how the progress of these things goes. This was just released on Friday as I'm recording this, so only two days ago from now. And uh, so it, it uh, may be better even by the time you see this, but at least right now, it's not ready. All right, well, hopefully that was entertaining at least. Thanks for following along, and uh, let's keep track of Astro Fire, or Firebase Studio to see if it can support Astro better going forward. All right, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Happy coding.